Hey guys, it's Kim here. Welcome back to my gaming channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing the quest Vimama Agama. This is a full quest guide. So to get this quest, we need to open up the book, which you will receive once you finish the quest, The World of Aranara. So just click go and you will get the location of the quest. So let's head to the Statue of the Seven now. And I'm just going to head to the area that is marked on the map. So you need to complete all of these quests if you want to complete the dream nursery quest line. There are quite a lot of parts to it, but once you have completed all of them, it will actually open up a bunch more areas on the Sumeru map. So we're just going to head all the way down and you will see the world quest symbol. After the dialogue, we are going to investigate the strange spot, which is marked on the map. And you'll see that there is a healer child there, so we can just get him out of the way and then investigate. Once you investigate, we can go to the next spot we are going to investigate, which is also marked on the map. So you can use the four leaf sigils to make your travel a bit easier. So from here, we're just going to climb up. And then you will see the spot marked there. Investigate that. And we're going to keep exploring. So keep going to the next spot. So all the way over there. These four leaf sigils make things so much easier. So keep going. And then you will see that there's an entrance to a cave. So let's just jump up on there. Now we are going to keep exploring, so go inside the cave. So inside the cave, we just have to head to the marked spot on the map. So just use the four leaf sigils just to make things quicker. So you want to just keep going all the way to the top and there is a teleport waypoint right here so we can easily teleport back any time okay so activate that and then we're going to go and talk to the suspicious person once you have spoken we're going to go back to the teleport waypoint just use the four leaf sigils have that conversation and then we are going to head back to Jazari and we will be seeing him quite a bit in this quest okay so talk to him and then after that we are going to teleport to port almost and we are going to talk to this person right here have a chat and then after you finish that that is the end of the first chapter of this quest so now the next part we are going to find the secret base so let's teleport to this waypoint right here. And then I'm just going to head to the marked location. Once you have arrived, you will have some dialogue and then we're going to go up here and then just play the song on the vintage Lyra. And once you have completed that, we need to switch to Dendro and then attack this um, ball. And then that is going to move out of the way. And then we can access this cave. So 
The next part of this quest, we are going to investigate the secret base. So keep going to the marked location on the map and then you will have some dialogue. Then what you're going to do is dig for the buried item. So just on the side on the right, there's a small tiny cave. Go inside there, investigate that. And then after some more dialogue there, we're going to dig for the device. So let's just go and use four leaf sigil right there, that mark spot. Investigate that. And then after that, we are going to talk to this person in the village. So let's just teleport to that waypoint. And then we are just going to go and talk to that person. So let's just talk to this guy here. After this dialogue, a bunch of other quests will open up. So we are going to continue on with the quest. We're not done yet. So these two have opened up and we need to search for the mechanical component. So let's do this one first. So we're going to teleport to this waypoint right here and then just enter the cave just behind the waypoint. Now this cave is currently submerged, so we need to lower the water levels. So to do that, we need to follow the Sealy right in front of us. So we can use the four leaf sigils just to move a bit quicker. So I'm just going to keep going once we get onto the land. Just going to wait for the Sealy to come. And then once the Sealy has arrived, let's just keep going on. Just have to touch the Sealy so it keeps going. So the Sealy is going to make its way all the way up. So we are going to use the four leaf sigil right in front of us, teleport there, and then look up. Another one, teleport, up again, teleport, and then push the Sealy, and then there we go. Now, we are going to get the second Sealy. So we need to go down, and just underneath you see some stairs. There's a Sealy inside that room. So we are just going to touch that Sealy and follow that along. Use the four leaf sigil and then you'll see a mushroom. So change to an electro character and then we are going to use electro on this to activate it. If you use electro, you can jump a lot higher. So now that we've done that, we are going to follow the Sealy. And then once this Sealy arrives, you will get a chest, which you can open now or later, it doesn't matter. And then I'm going to start this so then this will lower the water level. Okay, so now that we have a new area, let's go down and I'm just going to use Dendro on this cluster leaf just so it will create a four leaf sigil so we can use that to teleport faster. So we're just going to go just up here and then from here we're going to drop down. So just drop down below and then you'll see a cave. We just want to go inside this cave and then you will see that there is a dead end. So what we're going to do is use your vintage Lyra and we are going to play this song. And then use Dendro to attack and then this will reveal another entrance that we can use. So let's just go through and we are just going to solve this puzzle right here. So first of all, you can get rid of those ruins. Um, but after you've done that, summon Dendro. And then we are going to hit each of these Dendro floating symbols. So there are three in total. And once you hit them, they will unlock the pillars. And we just need to use Dendro to be able to use them. So. We're just going to hit them and then see that one has unlocked. We're going to go up to that one, use Dendro. The second one is over here. And then we're just going to use Dendro on that one. And then up there. 
There is the last one, so we're just going to climb up and then just use Dendro on that pillar as well. And then this will reveal a chest. You can pick that up if you wish, but I'm just going to leave it there for now. And we are going to go up here. Now we can start this mechanism and that will lower the water levels even more. Okay, now we can access this area right here. So let's just go to the part that is marked on the map, which is just down here. So once you get down there, you will have some dialogue. And once that is finished, just go to that glowing spot, investigate it. And that is the item that you need. So this part of the quest is finished. Let's do the next part to find the next component. So teleport to this waypoint right here, right next to it. And this is the one where we are underground. Okay, so now you just want to use the four leaf sigils and just teleport yourself all the way to where that marker is. So you want to go to this spot right here and you'll see we can summon Dendrograna and then we are going to attack this uh, rock thing here. So that is going to open up the path and we can head inside and then you will be met with some dialogue when you just go into this part right here. Alright so we have to clean up the withering. We will be doing this quite a lot in Sumeru. Summon Dendro and then we are going to hit each of these branches. Once you have hit them all, a bunch of enemies will appear, so defeat all of them. And then we can destroy the tumor. And then that is done, a chest will appear. So you can pick that up if you wish, but just behind there, we just want to investigate this glowing part. And that is the last component that we had to find. So now going back, let's teleport. So go into the secret base, go around and just inside this small cave here. We are just going to have a quick conversation and then once that is done we are going to go talk to Jazari just up there. And then you will give him the components. And then that marks the end of this chapter. So now we are going to Jazari's chapter. Teleport to the waypoint that's on the ground. And then once you arrive, we're going to use the four leaf sigils just to get to the top. And then we are going to open up this door. So now we are going to activate the relay. So going to go all the way down so drop down but then in the middle part here where the elevator is 
You can drop down even further. And see those gems lying on the ground there? We want to go and pick them up and put them in these pillars. So I'm just going to do that right now. I've got one and place it into the pillar. And we are going to do that for all of them. So let's just go around, place that, and then place into this one right here. And this will activate some parts of this place we are in. So let's go talk to Jazari. After you're done, we are going to go to the middle level using the elevator. So that's going to bring you up. So go to that marked location there, that pillar right there. Let's go up to it. We're going to draw the gem from that or amber from that. And then we are going to put it in this door right here. Place that. And then draw the amber from this pillar. And then draw it out from there. So now we've got two. Now we are going to go to the door that requires two ambers, which is this one right here. Place them both in and then let's draw from this pillar. So pick up. And then let's go outside, take those ones. And then we are going to go to the room where you need three to open up the door. So that should be just on this side. Okay, this one right here. Place them in. That's going to open. Let's just grab that. And then we are going to put this one, place it into the pillar. Now let's grab this three, these three, and then we are going to go to the room where we only needed two to get inside. So it's on here. And then going to place that in the pillar. And then we are going to take them out and then let's go around to the room where you only need to put one in and then the door is going to open up. There's actually some chests in here as well, which I will show you guys in a different video, but if you want to grab them now, just um, use the ambers to open up every door. Okay, so that one's done as well. And then we are going to fight the Serpent King. So once you've done that, we're going to go all the way down to talk to Jazari again. And then once you have finished that conversation, go to the top level. You just have to wait for the elevator to get down first. Okay, there it is. Jump on the elevator. And then we're going to go to the very top. When you get to the top, we are going to go into this room right here. And then let's just draw from that pillar, place it into this one right here to open up the door, pick up the amber from this room, and then pick that up as well, place it. And then we are going to go to the other side. So just the room opposite the one you were in. And then there is another pillar there going to put that in and then that is going to open up that door so then we can go inside so once you get inside you will have some conversation and then what you're going to do is go and activate the ruined golem now you'll get to this part here and you're just going to attack three times randomly and then that's just going to end this scene. And that is the end of Jazari's chapter. So there is one more chapter after this and it's the last one. So the next part is Dev Delva chapter. So we are going to just exit the Ruin Golem. So we're just going to go through this one right here. So just go through and this is, I believe, the arm of the Ruin Guard. So 
So after you're out, go to the marked location, you'll just have some conversation and then behind you there is a hole. We're just going to go inside this hole. And then once you're in, there's actually a teleport waypoint which you can unlock and it's just in front of you right there. So I'm just going to unlock that just to make things easier. We can go back anytime now. And then now we are going to just go to the other side. So use the four leaf sigils where the abyss mages are. We don't have to fight these guys. We are just going to keep walking or running away from them. Okay, so at this marked location, you will have a quick cutscene and then we are going to have to fight the abyss mages in different locations. So this is location number one, it's going to fight them and once you have done that, we are going to go to the second location which is just on the left. So that's done, we're just going to go up here. Second location, fight the Abyss Mages. Once you're done with that, we are going to go to the other side. So use the four leaf sigils to get there quicker. So we're just going to teleport there and then just on the left and then on the right. Teleport, teleport and just right in front of you. These are the last set of Abyss Mages that we have to fight. So fight them and then you should be done so now we are going to teleport to the core so gonna go up there go down and then you'll get some cutscenes you'll get blown out of the core with the abyss lector so you just have to fight him and once he is defeated we are going to have to go back to the very top into the core again but that's okay because you can get there pretty quickly if you just use these four leaf sigils so just keep going up up and then there should be one right there in front of us yep there we go one more and then we can go down and then you will get some more cutscenes after you turn off the device and then now we need to leave the underground ruin so use the four residuals gonna go around and there's a small cave right here so we're just gonna go inside there's a marked spot and then we're just going to continue leaving. So we're going to talk to Arai Ken. I think that's how you say his name. Um, but yeah, we are going to use this mushroom. Jump up. Yep, I, I always miss it. There we go. And then we're just going to climb out of this cave. And then once you get to that location, that is finally the end of this quest. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.